Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Here at Telecom Exchange New York City, so we're excited to say 2017, our seventh year here in the fabulous Cipriani Wall Street location. Joining me here today, my guest, my friend, Zev Dreyer. He is the Vice President of Strategic Marketing for MRV. Zev, welcome again to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. Nice to be here. It's awesome to have you here, and I know that you've just launched, exciting news guys, a new optical transport solution. Can you show and tell? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, uh, it's good to be here, and uh, last year we spoke about 100 gig, now we're speaking about 200 gig. Market velocity is amazing. Unbelievable. Um, bandwidth is like money, it's never enough. Yeah, that's <laughs> Absol right. Absolutely the case. <laughs> Uh, so now we actually introduce a new optical transport solution which is basically 100% more capacity, 50% lower space and actually I can show it. Yes. So yeah, so this is a pluggable digital coherent technology which uh, is the state of the art of transmission in optical. And uh, what you see is this is a 100 gig, like a size of 10 gig that's used to be. So this is the new 10 gig solution eventually. In terms of capacities, the size, the form factor is phenomenal. Power consumption 50% lower, and uh, that's fully modular. So it's completely different from, from it used to be, or from proprietary solutions that typically people introduce. So this is a solution for 200 gig. Is again, you see the size, you see the form factor. It's amazing to see how the technology is shrinking. So more capacity, less space, less power. That's the story. Unbelievable. So this new technology is based on. Coherent digital technology. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, you know, we had a slogan for this campaign, and we said it's built for speed and designed for performance. So, digital coherent technology is eventually supposed to give you more performances and uh, better reach over existing old and new infrastructure, including the coherence of transmission over one single wavelength, which is tunable. So, it enables much better performance, longer reach, and again. It's something that will pave the way for new services and better capacities for the planet. How is this solution targeted for both telecom and data center operators? That's a great question, obviously. If we look on typical design of uh, equipment, some of the design purely for data centers and some of them for service providers. What we're trying to do here is a modular solution that will be flexible enough and optimized for data centers and for service providers. So basically we have like seven chassis with a different form factor. All those different parts can be mixed and matched, pay as a growth concept, so economies of scale are very important. Instead of again going back to the proprietary solution, fixed designs that were less flexible. Because service provider, they would like to have granular services and different types of services. Rather, if you look at data centers, which are more monolithic in a way, uh, they use uh, more or less fixed design, uh, much bigger density, so it's totally different. But we're trying to optimize it and give all the variants in the same solution from our seven range of chassis and the different parts we provide. I love that flexibility, for sure. So, looking into your crystal ball, what can you tell us? for MRV in the next uh, few, <laughs> few months to a year ahead? Um, it's not going to be boring, uh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> never we'll, is. Yeah, never <laughs> is. Uh, I think we're going to have very good and exciting uh, announcements soon. Uh, we, we still, our vision is again that uh, network be network as a service. So the whole vision of multi-layer transmission, multi-layer technology, different types of aspects of services that will be programmable on demand and will enable this vision to come through. And on top of it, we have our management and orchestration platform that gives this flexibility and optimization and automation of services. So that's actually the vision that some day is getting into those realities of network as a service. That's the vision. Network as a service, for sure. Uh, MRV sticking true to its vision and really uh, deploying now unbelievable new technology, making news uh, that we're all excited to hear about. So for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they uh, find out more Obviously about MRV? Obviously they can go to www.mrv.com, they can follow us at MRVC on Twitter, mm -hmm. and obviously LinkedIn, so I think you can find us very easily. Yep. Anywhere online, MRV. MRV.com. Zev, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jamie. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV.